Is he all right? He just found out that the last video's sound was ruined. Uh, how did that happen? Something to do with iMovie and the iPad not being able to process the video properly. <coughs> ah, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I'm late. What's happening? Well, how long has it been like that? 24 hours. Hey, where have you been? Ah, uh, mind your own business. What's wrong with him? As someone or something has ruined his video. Ah, aye, that iPad has slowed down a lot since I started using it to make TikTok videos. When did you start TikTok? Uh, about two weeks ago. Would, uh, making TikTok videos slow down the computer? Hell yeah! Uh, something's beginning to happen. Thank God it moves! Uh, no thanks, I'm not into that. Uh, no, uh, you can let go now. Uh, no, hang on. <laughs> Only you can do make all this world seem right. Check out the water line since I've taken the tanks out. Well, we finally moored up so that we can get our water. It's been uh, one hell of a cruise. While we're filling up with water, let's have a look at the garden. Um, this is my weird rosemary. Um, it's a trailing variety of rosemary. Uh, smells absolutely gorgeous and has been flowering the entire winter. And you can just see a new fresh growth coming off it. So life is coming back. This is the Ameria, the marvelous stuff. It, nothing kills Ameria. Um, I have split this a number of times and it's in other pots, but you can see the flowers all starting to come up again. Again, this flowered the entire winter. Um, this gets taken over by Oxalis, which you can see in there, which is little shamrocks. Um, um, so I sort of tried to weed them out. Otherwise, they will. this will just turn into a field of shamrocks but it's a bit of house leeks we've got some moss growing in there and I'm sort of just letting it do its own thing except for killing off the oxalis um, oh that's a seeded saxifrage so I'm very interested to see what's going to happen with this fella I sort of went into a shop for two pounds fifty just bought seeds and just shoved it in there no idea what's going to grow out of there um, but we'll see uh, the these, this is all new growth on the ivy, so I'm going to have to get the shears out. Um, if you look here, usually I give it a nice cut here. So you can see all, all of this is new growth, so it's starting to take off. We have over here pussy willows. This is a pussy willow, but I'm going to find um, a new home for this because uh, willow does not bonsai very well. It doesn't like living in containers, needs tons and tons of water, so I might go and find somewhere over there and stick it in the river this is my olive tree um, doing really well uh, bought this last year just shoved it into the pot more Ameria something I've forgotten the name of uh, succulent of some sort and that turns into red flowers and I can't remember the name of it um, I threw a few more seeds in here but essentially this was an old rosemary that was just not doing well um, and uh, I chopped it off, it was uh, on the way out. A bit more of a house leak, some moss. Oxalis taking over. Once you got it, mm, it's never gonna go away. Uh, but that's a, ooh, what's that? Is that a weed? Uh, it looks like, suspiciously like a weed to me. Yes, goodbye. Um, all of this are poppies. So these are red poppies. Um, and here is a seedling of a pansy, which I put in years ago. They're annuals, but they seed so prolifically. I usually have pansies every year. It's a bit of grass. This is the fuchsia. This fuchsia turns into a monster every year, but it dies back once it gets hit by the frost, because I don't think it's, a, it's, it's more of an ornamental fuchsia. But good news, little shoots starting to come there. And there's a little green shoot. So it's still alive and it's gonna explode into life shortly. This is an acer. I've just chopped the head off it. It was up to there, but I chopped that because I wanted it to grow more like a bush a little bit. 
Uh, Acer is also Japanese maple, so it's starting to produce its buds and its leaves. More armeria and it's starting to produce more flowers. This is a rock rose. Now this dies off like this, but you can see there's still a bit of life in it, but then it all starts to grow back again. These flowered and put a lot of stress on themselves to flower last year. So these are the survivors. They'll probably just fill in the gap. More oxalis, that could be a wheat, no. These guys just absolutely love it. There's a great combination. This particular ivy keeps this nice and dry. It does drink it, so the two complement each other. And then finally, we have the, I think it's a paper plant. It's a New Zealand plant. It's a rescue. It was being thrown out as a dead dormant plant last year, and it's now going into its second year, sprouting up. I do keep that in the bathroom when it's cold, um, but now it's gonna be out for the rest of the summer. <laughs> Look what I found. That'll be very useful. It's time to take the canvas off and see what's underneath. Looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to fold this up, but I suspect that's going to be dumped because it's pretty rotten and it smells. It's totally rotten. Boom in the lowest position, and here is the clearance that we get. Steel comes up to this point halfway along this fella, and that's the highest point in the roof. And then you've got these wooden boards, and then this steel cap, which is bolted on there. So when we take the walls away, we have this and this only opportunity to raise the roof. That's 10 centimeters, which is about two and a half, three inches. On the outside of the boat, you can see that it's not straight. Everywhere there's a window, there's a plate bonded on, and you can see the thing is completely warped. The reason is it's three to four mil steel with no vertical supports. On the other side, steel is coming away there's another plate underneath a window lo and behold anywhere there's a window there is rust plate on there plate on there plate on here that one's buckled another plate again where the windows are there's tons of rust and if you look back down the line here you can see how the windows are bulging out and this is because there is literally no support and this is the only thing holding it up. And of course, where there's a window, there's no steel. So here you've got two windows right beside each other. And the only support holding the roof up is this bit of steel here in the middle and then the bits at the end. But there's no vertical supports. Obviously the same here on this side as well. It might have broken its weld. That top bit keeps these boards in place and then these bolts keep these ends. And these might possibly be the boards that were used when it was commercial. 
can't confirm that. I'm not saying that they're 110 years old, but they certainly are the style of boards that would have been used. So uh, Chris may have got the boat without the boards and then somewhere along the line either created new boards or found new boards. Um, thing is though, uh, not entirely sure what's going to happen to them, but I'm taking them off for now so that I can see the state of the steel underneath. But this is just for show. They don't actually do anything. They're just cosmetic and they look great. Just gotta put all of that inside. That's what I want is another collection of wood in the boat. God, I wish I had my car. Thank you, Nico, for minding my car. There they are, all stacked up nice and neatly. Hey there, need a hand? Nope, looks like you've got everything under control. Stilson, I am your father. Oh my, who could it be? Ah, you're a feckin' idiot. Only... Well, I think you should let him have his moment. Only me? We went shopping. Sparklers for Halloween? Hey, Stilson, would you help me come and get the thing? Ah, he's never gonna get rid of those curtains, is he? No, I don't think he ever will. Oh, Stilson, you brought my gloves. And these are my... Yes, all right. You can let go now. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing else came in the post. I bought an exhaust system for the generator. And uh, it was supposed to be delivered early this week. Uh, it didn't turn up. And uh, it looks like it's not going to turn up until Tuesday. So I thought I was going to be able to get some welding done. But, um... Elias... A new. So that's going to happen next week. And next week I'll also be ordering the steel for to get all the bits done. But um, uh, this week I was rather hoping that I'd get some welding done because I did purchase some steel and got a piece of round steel. I got a long bit of steel as well. Boom holder. And I'll weld it into the. Ooh. You didn't tell me there was a squished spider. Oh no, he's not squished, he's very much alive. Oh look, are you still alive? Or are you half squished? Are you sleeping? I think he's pretending to be, yeah, okay. Might be, might be a little bit octoplegic at the moment. Um, don't have the fuel pump. That's uh, two week, two and a half weeks still waiting. Yeah. So uh, basically nothing's happening. But next week it looks like a lot's going to happen. And the work... I fixed my bike, but I didn't bother filming that because who cares about that? Um, did you do anything interesting this week, Captain? Well, Canis, I continued my foray into TikTok with many, many more videos. Okay, how about um, Red Rum, how are you? I have to say I've rather enjoyed watching Good. you make those TikTok videos. And well, Stilson. Those TikTok videos are terrible. Okie dokie. 
All that's left for me to do is just to say thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button and uh, give me a like and a uh, comment as you do. And I will get back to you. Um, and uh, yes, next week, uh, yeah, we should uh, kick off the welding. So have yourself a lovely week. Arr, and it's goodbye from me. Well, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. I love